welcome to another JavaScript tutorial and today is all about the web view control and web view as the name says is basically a little web browser that you can add into your apps and we have it on an uh, example here just showing you now we have it with the Google home page and with web view control you can actually have an external web website which is uh, what is shown there or you can have a local file you can have it read from a file within your app so you can um, create extra files in your app uh, load them or you can dynamically create html um, within your app itself and then display it like so and i'm going to show you how to do all of those um, things and also tell you where you, can, where you can find out a little bit more information. So let us get started. Uh, I'm just going to create a blank um, page. I'm just going to load this down a moment, otherwise it keeps getting, getting annoying. So we'll just call it web view demo. It's just a simple application, nothing on board. So all it's all we have is a bare bones app. Now, simply to add the web view um, is like this. You just go add and add web view. There it is, comes up and you can see the context help there. So we're gonna add it to our layouts and we're gonna give a width of 0.8, just to show that. And if you run that, you will get, let me just show what white box there. So you can see where it is on the screen. And now a good method to uh, implement, actually when you add a web view is something called set on progress. Now what that will do is it'll call the callback function so we just need to create one of those and what you, you can do with that is control the uh, loading of the web view so there is a variable pass through to this method oops got to put function there spell it correctly and I'm going to call this progress and what that will do is it loads it sends back a percentage so as the web view content is loading it returns back so if once progress equals 100 we know it's loaded so we could either we could just do an alert or something just to say you know, or load um, show pop up for example loaded. Now, what we want to do is to load a URL and to load a uh, an external URL. You can use the method called load URL, and in it you just put the, uh, as it says, the URL of the desired web page you want to load. In this case, we'll just load up the JavaScript.org. Um, don't forget to add in your HTTPS protocol before your URL, otherwise you'll get an error. So if we run this now, it should load the, there you go. And uh, one uh, tip you could do actually during the load URL before the load URL is to run something called show progress. And you can you can also add a message as well. Loading. And what that will do is load um, show you an animated loading and it's there but as you can see it hasn't gone away 
so we've got to hide it. How do we hide it? Well, we use our set on progress uh, callback function. So here, instead of app show um, pop up loaded, we can now just go hide progress. And what that will do is it will show the loading as the website's finished. It stops. So that just gives you a little bit of a improved UX design sort of approach. It just looks a little bit nicer. So that's how to um, load an external um, URL. Let's just show you how to create a lo uh, local um, file. So if we just create a um, test HTML, now, when you create a new file, this creates it as a template. So this is our local file, test.html. So if we now load, uh, you can use the load URL, but instead of putting HTTPS, all we need to do to access our local file is just put the name of our file. So in this case, test.html. And you can run this now and it should load up. There you go. So it loads up the local one. Now local ones are a lot quicker to load, so you might not even really need the show progress because as you can see, it happens so quick that you might not want the flash of the uh, loading on and off. Um, that's purely up to you. Um, but that's how to load a local URL. Now if we want to create some dynamic HTML, um, during our loading process or uh, so instead of loading it from an external um, HTML we've, we've previously created we can we can add our own HTML so if we just add in um, some um, files so we can call it uh, HTML equals and if you use the back ticks it allows you to just type text a lot easier. And you literally can create the whole HTML um, file dynamically like this. So we have a head. And we can have some uh, we can have some CSS in here if we wanted. We could have even some scripting going on. And you can have a body. And in it you could put, hi there. So you, you can create your own thing and because it's um, dynamic you can then add in content from um, from here so you could create a variable here called two three four five and then you could add it into here I remember how to do this with the Thing, and you could just do it like that. And if we run this, we should see local. Oh, we're uh, running load HTML, uh, load URL. So if we now just remove this and add dot load HTML and pass in the HTML, should be able to run this now. And there we are. So hi there, one, two, three, four, five. And one, three, three, four, five is the variable we have here. And we're using the uh, tick, so we're allowed then to create our um, text like this. So we're using the template, JavaScript templating um, syntax. Um, other thing to show you is an execute 
uh, method, which allows us to execute code. So if we go back to back to here, we can um, execute code within the web view using a method called execute. Now you have to pass it as a string, but once you do that, you can then call um, script JavaScript, which, call, which is executed within the um, web view. So this should now, once it's um, fully loaded, uh, show an alert with boo. There we go. Uh, not a great example, but it's just um, shows you there and gives you some um, some thought of what you could possibly possibly do. You can then change content within the um, HTML. So, for example, we've got one, two, three, four, five sharing. So, if we show another one called um, give it an ID some text. Now if we get rid of this and put ID, you could use query selector as well, but I'm just going to do this way dot in a HTML, or you could be in a text, and we're going to just put one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like that. So what that should do now is it should update this variable here. There you go. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's possible to then use the executor to, to call um, JavaScript within the uh, application. And what you you could use that, for example, if you wanted to create for um, a form, you could create a, with a different styling, for example, than what you get in the standard Droid script. Um, framework you might want to change change that so you could then create a web view with a custom form and then have a button outside of the web view um, which then when you press it you can then read the values of those input input fields in the web view and get them and then do um, maybe store the, the data in a local file or or send it somewhere um, if you don't want to do that within the web view, you can do that then um, outside of the web view um, with with Droid Script. So you can then grab information um, from the uh, web view. So there are different um, possibilities. So have a look. Um, one more thing before I end. If you get stuck, go to the documents, the documents tab here go to reference, uh, go to all, type in web view, you get add, create web view, gives you all of the information you need with some examples as well. So here, here's the remote one, here's one for local file and direct HTML. And again, feel free to copy, the, copy this code and into your uh, own projects there is also a samples one. So if you go to samples and go to web view, always worth looking before you start um, trying to code yourself. Is there a sample already out there? And look at the reference documents. Very good tip. And that is the uh, sample that I showed you at the beginning, actually. So if I show you on here, this is a sample. So this is from the samples. And uh, and there you go. So this is how to create and add a web view to your app.